10 months ago, I brought you this video showing you how to turn Minecraft Pocket Edition, the Bedrock version, into Minecraft Java Edition. Well, good news. This has been updated, and I want to show you how it works. This is fully supported for Minecraft Bedrock Edition on iOS, Android, Windows 10, and Xbox. If there's any way to get them on Switch or PlayStation, it will work for those versions as well. So yes, this will physically turn your Minecraft game to looking like Minecraft Java Edition. Now, very briefly, I just want to go over the screens to get you guys familiar with Minecraft Bedrock Edition. You played Minecraft Bedrock Edition for quite some time. You know how the screens and the overlays look. This is going to be fully transformed, completely changed. Let's just go over everything in game. Let me just familiarize you with some of the UIs that we currently have on Bedrock Edition. So we're going to be changing how you type on signs, how you sleep in a bed. We're also going to be changing what it looks like on a book and quill down to typing, signing, reading, etc. Same with command blocks. This is going to change. Same with structure blocks, anvil UI will be changed, the beacon UI will be changed, the brewing stand UI will be changed, cartography table, chest, even things like your crafting table. Now, not all of these are going to be significant changes because a lot of these changes are very minimalistic. Yes, we will have changes to the stone cutter. We'll even have changes to redstone dust, apparently. This will change. Trading with villages is also going to change. Typing in chat like, hello YouTube, like this, this video please, and let's just do this. And also things like the horse's inventory, that is going to change. Alright, let me show you how to install this. In the description will be a link to this page on mcbedrock.com. This is everything you need to know about this, and it was created by Chris X Alt. There is three separate packs you are able to install. There is the Java UI, which we're checking out. We also have the mixed UI and the PVP UI as well. And here's a couple of in-game screenshots that are simply showing you how this works. But again, please take the time to read it and to install it. I'm going to show you how to install it. Like I said, there is a few different versions for you to check out. So once you're here on this page, either download Java UI, the mixed UI, the PVP UI is coming soon. So if you're interested in PVP, Make sure you bookmark this page. On this page, if you come to this section, it will show you the comparisons between the versions you are installing. So if you're installing the Java UI, it's going to change all of these features. It says yes. All of these features as well, and all of these features as well. If you're installing the mixed UI, it will be a combination of both Java and Bedrock. Like maybe you prefer the Bedrock style hood, so you would install the mixed UI. Maybe. You preferred the cartography table on Bedrock compared to Java. So again, you would install the mixed UI. Upon release in the future, the PvP pack is Java Edition 1.8 style. So tons of comparisons. Make sure you check this out for reference. Once you tap on the Java UI, it's this download right here. Just tap on it. It is going to take you to Linkverse, which I know is a pain, but it does support the creators of these packs. So what you want to do is you want to scroll down until you see free access with ads. Tap on this, then tap on discover interesting articles. Once this pops up, just hit the X right there. You're going to have to wait a certain amount of time. Then you hit X once again. Then you click continue to VDX Java UI version 1.2.3. This is then going to open up the media file link. Once you've done this, just download it. Once you've downloaded it, just be patient and wait then you're good to go. I currently have this pack installed, but once I double tap on this, it is going to open within Minecraft Bedrock Edition. Import started, it's going to tell me it's a duplicated pack. Make sure it says 1.19.0, which is the latest. But yes, this does support future versions as well. At this point, you're simply going to settings. Once you're on settings, scroll down until you find global resources. Tap on my packs. Tap on this, created by Chris X Alt. Activate this. Just double check that it's in the active slot. Then you're just going to back out. Wait for it to load. And lo and behold, 
your game is now Minecraft Java Edition. So let's take the time to check out the main menu, of course, to start off with. So you've got Play Game. This is my current worlds that I have created and showed you guys. If I go to Create New World, you are able to create a new world. It is going to look the exact same as Java Edition. I'm also curious, did he update game rules? He did. It now does look like the Java Edition version as well. So you've got like Update Fire. You can have it on or off. Update Weather. You've got like, where else? Wait, wait, wait. Always day. We might need to turn on like experimentals here. That's one thing I'm still getting used to. Miscellaneous. Show coordinates. We're going to have that on. So you can tweak and change and mess around with these. Let's go done. Let's go. Ah, more world options. This is where you're going to start finding a couple more things. Like advanced. This is where you've got like the advanced Microsoft settings. I don't think you need a mess. Ah, okay. There we go. Yes, you do need to come into this section if you want to find yourself the experiments. So obviously... You're going to have to have to activate the experiments if you want to mess around with the experiments as well. It might take you a little bit of time to get used to this. And you can type in your seed there. So we just type in seed like completely random. And then we could type in world infinite if we wanted to. Um, let's go back. It would turn off achievements. Starting map on or off. Bonus chest on or off. So that is what it looks like if you are creating a screen. What's this? What's this right here? This is your realms. And this is your servers. So it should show, ah, it does show the featured servers right there. Okay, let's go to play servers, add a server. Oh, it's even like Java edition as well. Oh, that's really, really impressive. Inside of here are your achievements. If you want to access your achievements, that UI hasn't changed. If you go to marketplace, this also has not changed. And you've got changes with options. So you've got your FOV, your story. Oh, the audio. See, I wanted the Bedrock audio to be like this. So obviously you can turn on your music, which you guys can hear. I have it off because we already have overlay music. Weather. So brutal, hostile creatures. Change all of these if you wanted to. Video settings. Graphics, fancy, fast, fancy. Yo, that's so helpful. Brightness all the way up and all the way down. It's so smooth as well. Accessibility. Unfortunately, we don't have subtitles on the Bedrock version, so that's not going to be there. Audio settings, video settings. What else have we got inside here? Language settings. He did update the language settings. And we have resource packs. So if I was to do this and then click done and done, it's going to update. That might happen. That's one glitch I have noticed, but then it would turn it back into the bedrock version and once again if you want to reactivate it just activate the pack go back i'm going to show you in real time what it looks like when you load up your world so if i remember correctly it should also have the java loading animation as well so let's load it and let's wait for it to load and there you go our game is now turned into Minecraft Java Edition, down to the UI as well. So if we go to forward slash game mode survival, oh, even the text chat has changed. It's like, hello, YouTube, remember to like the video. <laughs> See what I mean? So if I go back, oh, it's so much better having the, the chat over there. Got these settings as well. Oh, you can mute chat on and off. You've got chat colors as well. Oh, I like that. Let's change it to like yellow. I like the yellow. My mentions are white. Font. Ooh, okay. You can change them as well. And you can change the size of it if you really wanted to. That's nice. So that's one of the first big changes. Again, you can mess around with all the settings in game as well as on the main menu down to your options set. Nighttime. I want to see what it looks like when I sleep in a bed. So this has also changed, giving you the ability to open chat. And you can kind of see... How you sleep there. I really like the way you sleep there. Hold on. Let's, let's check this out one more time. Should be Yo, cow. Chill, bro. All right. Chill. It's not your time to shine. Let's go to forward slash time set day. So apparently typing on signs has also changed. Oh, you do notice a difference here. Let's do like, um, hi there. Smiley face. Oh, okay. I actually like this. You've got changes to this. Let's see if there's a big difference. The, the, the book looks a little bit different here as well. What does this do? Oh, wait. Can you can you change pages that way? Is that what that's doing? I have no idea what I've just done. <laughs> Let's try it one more time. 
So you can kind of like go to the, the last page. Is that like if you were to type more page? Oh, you can plus more pages or minus more pages here. Oh, I didn't even know that was a thing on Java Edition. I kind of like that. The UI for the command blocks has also changed. Same for the structures. I'm not going to notice massive difference with some of the UIs like these. Again, if you pay attention, you'll probably notice the big differences here. Apparently, the chests have also changed. Crafting. <gasps> Crafting has changed. Let's get a... For, hold on. Let's just get myself some blocks and let me show you. Wait. I also forgot that the creative menu has changed as well. It's not the crappy bedrock one. It's the really, really good Java one. Oh, that's so much cleaner as well. Although, I still think console edition beats both of them. Let's get some sticks as well. And let's get some, some diamond stuff. I want to see how it looks like in survival but yeah again the whole ui whether you're in creative or survival has changed game mode survival crafting and that's what it looks like so you can turn it off and on exactly like java you can make yourself some boots make yourself a chest plate make yourself a diamond pick so some of these obviously i don't have access to these so i can't use them let's go back to page one so this is showing you things that you would be able to craft i would be able to craft these what else can we craft a lot of pages here. To be honest, though, you're best off just sticking to this one and going to the first page. A diamond hoe. Hey, that's actually pretty useful in the newest update. Let's go with a, with a helmet as well. What about the survival? There you go. That goes there like that. Oh, it's so much better. So that has changed. I love this. Got to start using this pack more often. This has also changed. This has changed. This has changed. The redstone apparently has changed as well. I, I don't know the biggest change here. Somebody tell me in the comment section. Stone cutter has changed. Uh, we need to get ourselves some blocks for that. All right, let's put this inside of there. Make ourselves some slabs. Is it like the indented stuff that's actually changed there? I think it might have been. I'm not entirely sure. Again, I don't pay enough attention to some of the UIs here. But it does say, excuse horse, your moment will be in a second. Ah, see, there you go. We have the Java trading. Wait, wait. I purposely got myself some emeralds for this. There you go. Let's go so I can trade with him. Hold on. Hold on. I got I got some more things I can trade with you. Hold on. Let's try and get him for the next trade. There you go. So it shows you what you're going to get. Even if you don't unlock it, it's going to show you there. I can buy them. I can buy them. I can't buy them. Just Oh, I can buy these. I can now buy this. And I can buy this. It also tells me at the top as well that he's max level. So one other thing that's changed as well as the chat, which I've showed you. And apparently... The UI for horses was changed as well. But again, I don't notice a very, very big difference there. Personally, from my perspective over the past couple of years, I prefer the bedrock command block UI rather than the Java one. Same with the structure block as well. Maybe because I played a lot more bedrock than I have Java. So that's why it's my preference. Hey, got a sheep just chilling there. Also, for those wondering, it is supported on the latest full releases and also the betas as well. These are the latest changes as of June 2022. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is how you turn Minecraft Pocket Edition, the Bedrock version, into Minecraft Java Edition. If you did enjoy today's video, please be sure to hit that like button. Check out the download below if you have any questions or need any help. I'll do my best to help you in the comment section. So yeah, see you next time. Thank you.